Hello, Grand Rapids. This is City Manager Mark Washington. Uh, happy Veterans Day to those of you who are, I was able to see during the Vet Veterans Day Parade, as well as uh, those who were able to be part of the opening of the Hassheart Cafe in our Veterans Memorial Park. So good to celebrate those who served our country in this community very honorably and with distinction. I was also able to participate in uh, one of three meetings for our community master plan discussions. And the first one took place at the Grand Rapids Public School University and there are several others that will take place in the uh, first ward and third ward. And so hopefully you will have an opportunity to participate in those meetings. During the most recent city commission uh, meeting, uh, we discussed a partnership between the city police department and Grand Rapids Community College and their um, efforts to help us recruit and diversify our hiring classes. And so they're going to be helping recruit for the next 10 police officers. Uh, we also discussed a, a piloting a program with the electrification of our uh, fleet and a couple of vehicles uh, and trucks that were purchased that the city commission approved. And uh, during the Public Safety Committee, we got an update on some of the efforts related to both crisis negotiation and making sure that there are good, safe outcomes when those very unfortunate situations happen, as well as uh, increasing uh, our efforts for bridge uh, housing or permanent supportive housing for our unhoused community. There was an update by community rebuilders and our city staff um, about the efforts of health and safety uh, in our community. We're still grieving the loss of several lives that, due to a homicide in the Burton Heights area. And, um, you know, it's very unfortunate. There were three lives that were lost. And our police department is doing everything to bring the offenders to justice. And so we'll continue to uh, be supportive of both the victims as well as uh, the efforts for seeking justice. So if you know or see anything, please contact our police department and reported to uh, the authorities. Also, uh, during the meeting last night, uh, there was a lot of conversation about um, some of the global conflict uh, that's happening, uh, both um, most recently within Gaza, between Israel and Gaza, and, and certainly we know we have another conflict in um, Europe with uh, Russia and Ukraine. And so, uh, with the world's attention on these um, crises that obviously has an impact on all of us. Uh, people want to see something done to bring those uh, conflicts uh, to an end as soon as possible because lives are being lost. People are being killed, such as the, the casualties of war. And while um, there is a role for local government, and we um, heard from quite a few residents at our last commission meeting, asking for the city commission to take action, uh, either by resolution or either uh, by budgetary funding action to uh, not be supportive of military efforts in, in other countries. Uh, there is uh, limitations to local government. Certainly, uh, in terms of advocacy, elected officials can contact state and federal legislators and legislatures and, and advocate and, and make requests known for local assistance. Uh, but when it comes to international diplomacy, uh, we have a sister cities program uh, and we do try to promote peaceful interaction with our sister city, but we, we certainly can't influence military actions. However, uh, those same requests for city engagement, uh, the public is also invited to do the same thing, contact your uh, U.S. senators and congressmen and, and, and writing officials in, in D.C. Um, in asking for uh, their intervention and in bringing about a peaceful conclusion to all of those conflicts to the extent possible. So I do want to recognize uh, that call, and it's not just unique in Grand Rapids. It's happening in other communities uh, throughout the country, and there have been other cities that have uh, taken um, positions publicly about uh, having peaceful outcomes, ceasefires, or whatever the preferred outcome is in those conflicts. And um, 
that while that is always an option, again, the decisions are not made at local government uh, level within municipality. Those are, those are determined at the federal levels and within those departments and agencies uh, that are responsible for military action and, and defense. So um, I do want to pick up and talk about something that's very important and continue to talk about how we serve our local community, in which we expect everyone to peacefully uh, um, relate to one another. And we, within the city, want to provide the best customer services possible. So let's go check out our customer service office. Thank you, city manager. I'm Lou Canfield, chief of staff in the city's executive office. And I'm here today in the city's 311 customer service center with 311 uh, manager Angela Dorr, Hi. who Hi. Uh, oversees this capable team that you see here. They are your one point of entry for any city service. So uh, you can call 311 or 456-3000 uh, and reach them and they will provide prompt and courteous and uh, comprehensive customer service. So Angela, please tell us a little more about uh, the people here. Mm -hmm. and what they're doing right now as we speak. Sure, yeah, the team upstairs here is taking calls um, as they come in and each of them is trained in all of our departments, city departments, to help with services ranging from um, I need to report a pothole to I need to schedule my inspection. Uh, we have folks downstairs on our Monroe level who take payments and help customers who walk in. And then um, you can connect with us online as well through email or mobile app, um, website. So um, however you want to connect, we'll be here. We'll uh, connect the dots where you're one call to City Hall. All right, great. And uh, customer service is one of the city's core values. And we work across all departments to make sure that uh, people are well-trained and providing excellent service and 311 is always looking to improve. So could you tell us a couple things about what you are thinking of for the future to enhance the customer experience? Um, we're gonna continue to um, improve and enhance service by uh, implementing new technology, hoping to um, you know, make things even more accessible with more ways to interact with us, possibly an interactive knowledge base, chat. We're just looking into all of our options and trying to figure out what's best for our city. All right, very good. We. Uh, we also value innovation, and 311 mm -hmm. has been a leader in that since it was started more than 10 years ago. And so, really appreciate your work Thank and the you. work of the entire team here. Yeah, uh, I have you, a great team. Yeah, you, you make um, life for our residents and for all city employees so much better. So, Thank you. Thank we you. try. Mm -hmm.